All right, well, now it's time to see the damage that has been done. That doesn't look bad at all. That actually looks pretty darn good. Yeah. All right. So then what the hell? I guess I'll find out the engine the thing scorched or not let's try rotating it huh interesting well hell yeah see that guys Cylinder's still good. Hmm. Okay. Well, it makes me wonder. The idea here is to not let that gasket tear. Because I can reuse these gaskets. I've done this numerous times without leaking, without a leaky head, so. You know what, if this video turns out alright, you guys will be seeing a lot more of this. I'm always blowing my shit up. But, I fix it. I don't just throw it away. Because I don't have a lot of money. See, when the gaskets are fairly new, they'll pop off without tearing. 
usually usually you're pretty safe to just sit there and work it and save the gasket so I'll have to buy a new one I don't really care about buying a new one it's just the shipping time takes forever but <laughs> whatever oh I did get the piston uh, scorched it a little bit Alright, without popping the rings off. Yeah. I think I can still run it. I think it'll be fine. But I'm gonna take the entire engine apart. Make sure there's nothing wrong with the bearings on the inside. Gotta check the oil pump. Hmm. pliers and um, probably this guy okay. pull the wrist pin clip out hold it tight don't lose it Forgot to put one of those in one of these one time. You never guess what happened. Dug a hole in the cylinder wall. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh fuck. Well, that was a mistake, breaking the spot of the cylinder there. I don't think it'll be the end of the world. But wow, is that wrist pin hard to get out of there. I'm guessing the problem's right behind that. This obviously wasn't too bad, although that's scree screeching. Worries me. Alright. 
where it gets messy. Now this definitely helps to keep these in order. Can I save the gasket? Probably not. That might have been my I broke last time. Just have to order a new gasket. That one's fucked. Okay, another specialty tool. Next up. This strange tool. Once again, this is reverse threads. God, whoever designed this thing is terrible. Oh well, it does the job. Okay, so this spins. It's a good idea to jam something in there, even though it speeds. Now this is the starter clutch. smooth for now. If not for an impact wrench, this would be next to impossible as well. There's no, it's so hard to secure this. I mean, you can jam something in here, but without fucking up the chain, who knows? Maybe somebody's got a better idea than me, but 
impact wrench. Makes this, this job real easy. So here's the old crankshaft. And it wasn't the bearing that went bad. I don't know if you guys can see that. That right there, that was causing a god awful vibration and I don't know how much longer I ran my motor like this with the well that's w wobble for a couple hundred miles <laughs> and it didn't blow up or seize on me it didn't break anything else so surprised um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to save this gasket fuck it I'll just order some new ones. I don't want to wait any longer. That one was fucked anyways, and you gotta have, they only come in a kit, you can't buy. Actually, you can find individual ones, but. See, this thing has been, I got the motor so hot, these, these gaskets now. Like that. See, and that was pinched super tight, so. do that to clearance for the stroker crank this thing has been cut out a few times for a big bore kit it's also been pretty beat up because a crankshaft actually the end of a rod broke off kind of beat up the case a little um, Well, there's, there's not a bunch of chunks of metal on the bottom. Oh, this part. I don't have the puller for that, so... There's a little trick you can do. Sometimes you can really mess up the ends of those threads, so you... Where'd it go? So this guy. And... It under here. There it is. Plastic mallet. Don't use a hammer. Well, I might have to. Depends how wedged on there that is. Ah, there we go. That didn't take much. So this chain needs to 
rest flat. There we go. All right. Let's inspect the bearings. Any push or pull? No. Feels good. Yeah, crankshaft's good. Okay. Well, guys, it's hard to say what the problem is. I think I'll have to pull my piston apart, get new rings for it. That's no fun. All the chain links roll fine. You probably run into some of these, especially if you're running low in oil, is these things will get stuck and move together and not bend. But it seems like this chain is doing all right. It's none of that. We're good. Now this guy. Yeah, those are pretty indestructible. So, so I think the problem lies in this guy right here. Sucking all the oil up. It's not enough strength even in this uh, larger high flow oil pump made by Koso. Um, that was a waste of money. Didn't help. The thought was nice. Peace of mind I guess. Until this thing burned up. So let's see the valves. The valves are fine. How's the exhaust port look? Pretty good. Let's check the seat. Oh fuck, look at that. It's pitted like crazy. Definitely needs a Yeah, that exhaust valve needs to be seated big time. Okay, next up, what's this guy? Oi! Oh! Again? Oh, took the whole engine apart and found my problem. Good job. Didn't tighten that down tight enough. Everything else in the engine looks pretty good. Well, not the oil pump awesome I need to get taller gears for this anyways it's got a stroker crank big bore kit big valve head you know big torquey camshaft big carburetor intake exhaust and it's got just slightly taller gears like red line I don't even know what red line is with the with the 815 camshaft, it was pulling pretty good from about 9,400 9, RPMs up to about 9,700 RPMs, and I got it up to 10,024 RPMs, and uh, I think I was going about 80 miles an hour. Uh, the fastest time I've clocked on the GPS is 81 miles an hour, a slight downhill on the freeway. Um, so for 200 cc's this thing goes, but I could have gone faster. I'm stuck at red line, you know. Um, okay, I know what the problem is. I know that the bearings are still going to be good in there. I replaced a few of them. Yep. Cool. All right, guys. I'll uh, I'll see you when I go to put this thing back together.